hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you guys a basic tutorial on how to draw multiple skin tones so if you'd like to see how i fill out these circles stay tuned The most important layers when I'm doing skin tones for my digital paintings are multiply, luminosity, and add. Multiply is the layer setting that I use for my shadows, luminosity is what I use for any pale highlights, and add is the setting that I use for vibrant highlights. So I decided to do a variety of skin tones so that way you guys can really understand how the colors in terms of shadows and highlights work and so that way you guys can feel confident in knowing that once you really understand how purples and blues work, you could use them on a variety of skin tones to create the effect that you guys are looking for in terms of skin. So as I've stated before, the multiply layer adds depth to the shadows and it really deepens and darkens the tones for me in a way that makes it 3D for me. If you guys would like to, you could check on all of the settings and figure out what fits best for you in terms of shadows, but for me, I love using the multiply layer. And depending on how deep and dark the color is, the multiply layer will only amplify and enhance it. Now the luminosity layer can be used for subtle or very faint highlights, or at least in my experience, that's what I use the layer for. So basically I tend to use blues or yellows to just give a hint of color and a hint of highlight for that area without really giving too much of a contrast between the mid-tone and the highlight. This just adds a little bit more dimension to the skin and it's just like that in-between step between the actual highlight and the mid-tone of the actual skin tone. For this tutorial, I heavily suggest using the smudge tool and choosing whatever brush you prefer to spread out the shadows and the highlights because doing this will allow the hue to stay the same, which means you won't accidentally darken an area too much or lighten an area too much, but you'll be able to push the color that you want around to get to the areas where you need it to be. Now for the at layer, I tend to choose colors that I want to reflect on the skin in the actual highlight because this layer setting will actually show the color of the actual highlight that you choose. So for most of these skin tones, I prefer the yellow kind of orangey kind of highlight, but you guys can tweak this step to your own personal taste and style. Now after you have the shadow and the highlights done, one of the final steps that I like to do is to add texture. Now to add texture, I usually take a skin brush that I find online and I use the multiply layer and luminosity layer to just lightly go in and add any imperfections that I feel will make the painting more realistic but not really overdo it. So after I lay down the, the brushes, I tend to go back through with the blender and just smooth it out so it's not too, too much of a contrast. Like it looks natural, or at least in my opinion, when I do it.
as you guys can see when I'm using the blending brush it's usually to just smooth out the outer edges of the skin tone brush or the, the speckling brush that I'm using at the texture but I'm still leaving that middle area there so that texture is still seen but it kind of eases into that textured speckle area so you guys can play around with this and figure out what you like best but this is just what I like to do for my art <laughs> If you guys like what you've seen today and you would like to see more content from me, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe so that you can stay updated on the most recent videos. If you guys would like to support me as an artist, you guys can check out the link in the description box. If not, that's cool too, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time!